Written big prayer at the king, repeat a mercy opinion. The Maida Statue. There was, was a very play ugly this called Silenus. He pranced over the mounds a pair of hairy gaunt legs. A long tail is with behind him, but from the waist of a his a wild man more or less. His lip belly bounced up and down as he ran along. A pure forms is afraid of, of his bald and shiny head. Kayak fell in slower dresses from his tech and purple leaves ensured this the lifer creature was a sector. Silenus was a friend of Dionysus. The goal of my Dionysus often used to gather his will when a followers into the walls for a noisy Christ carry. It included sailors as well, men who were well women of the goods. They were then drums, a blow pace, and horns and cry symbols, and they danced themselves into male frenzy. But above all, they liked it to drink wine. Until after Selenus had been pertinent at night, he strained of the woods into the place grounds of Midas, king of Pridia. He lied down beneath uh, the rose bush and fell into a deep sleep. Around mid morning, Princess Ali was walking through the gardens collecting rose blossoms. The south to hairy of a Selenus sticking up from amongst the bushes and she told that a poor sea god had come into the garden to lie down. As it was dirty and smelled not very nice, she called the gardener when he came, he pulled on the lead and found not god but a secret. Ugh, ugh, he was horrible, it's a bad sign. Throw him on the comfort head. Uh, it's better as the kill before I do that, said the governor. After all, a suitor can bring God fortune. When King Midas learned it up, there was a cedar sleeping in the rose garden. He ordered that he be given a bed in the place until the fair winter. The servants carried him a stitcher to the best girl's room. There he remained snoring loudly and smelling like it. Well, I go for another day. When finally he rose, he strangled into the place's kitchen and nicely uh, demanded chase eggs and wine. The cookie wanted to change him a wheel a meal clearer, but the strangler held Held him by saying that the city was a guest of the king. Selenus took the wine and went wandering around the place, leaving dirty hops print as he went. When the king saw him, she was horrified. Who or what is this bad creature that's come to say with us? She asked the king. My dad replied. That he was a friend of Dionysus, and everyone must tell him with great courtesy. Also, Princess Saul and the Queen, the, and the Queen died their best to say of the way of the city, King Midas entertained his guest, eating and drinking with him until late at night, and playing music on the pen papers. All in all, Silenus stayed with Midas for a week. Well, no one was more praised about the show of hospitality than Dionysus because in, seal, in his eyes, anyone who harrowed Silenus harrowed Dionysus. A few days after Silenus had left, Midas was walking in his rose garden when he read some strange but lovely music. He followed the sound and discovered a perfectly beautiful man sitting on the grass and playing a people. He knew a real away the stranger was on the gods and he fell down on one canyon. 
the gold say Cap what man I know one for ceremonies. I wish to reward you what gives what you like more than any other in the world. Parel is really win win till but I can't know if the wine comes or some. I need money, said Midas. Money. What good comes of money? asked the what the god. Well, of course, I would like to have no for money, said Midas. Midas. But immortals can never have enough of the. I wished of everything I thought should turn it to work. I told Dionysus that it was a fellowship uh, which he rented a will to work. Midas, I'll try to, to touch. Shall turn to gold. The gold disappeared and King Midas rehearsed in his curse. He reached on out and touched a rose blossom and it turned to gold. He picked up a stone and tied to the king golden, even a call of air the king gold. He plucked an apple from a long branch. And in it in reality the count called and shiny he held it in his hand and said Oh wow poor or perfect it is then to saw them he tossed the golden apple over his shoulder and hurried into the place to tree Two tree has touched a random object, columns, statues, fortune, and third, third naps. Just around here, his voice, his voice, long, found light and shouting, "Gold, glorious glo gold!" And they wondered what had gotten in the king. Princess saw her him too, him too. She found him turning pales, pales into little golden nuggets. Father, what has happened? She asked. The most wonderful, wonderful time, he replied, and they hadded her. But his was not what he, he had expected. He, he was holding not his daughter in his arms, but a call a seen statue. The straw, he went to the fortune to wash his hot tears from his face, but as he scooped up the water in the his hands, it turned into like gold. Now he realized the cruelty of, of his head. He called it out. Lord Dionysus, send me from this crossed metal. Dionysus heard him and took pity of the foolish king. He appeared sitting on the edge of the fountain and saying, Good the river, the flowers, be the great city of service. Make your way upstream until you come to search. Plunge your head and body at the same moment in the flaming for ten. Where is gashes out and wash and, and wash away your foolish shines? Midas did as he was taught and when and when he planted into the stream the plants and the flowers that grew up up them became yellow and golden. But Midas emerged from the waters free of his wish for riches and gold. So as long as he lived, he rehearsed in all that was a simple and natural.